Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Beauty of Josen's Glow Zone. Now first I would like to go over the benefits and time of use, then when to include it in the skincare routine and lastly show you the application on my face. And you'll find the timestamps and example skincare routines for you to download in the description box down below. Now this zone contains 60% of propolis, 2% of niacinamide and 0.5% of BHA, which overall helps to nicely hydrate and calm the skin while reducing inflammation, it regulates oiliness and it offers gentle exfoliation. And you can use this zone on all skin types daily in the morning and or evening. Now when including it in the skincare routine, remember the order of application and this is now what I wanted to share with you. Keeping the main focus towards Beauty of Josen skincare products, which are generally speaking suitable for all skin types, however then remember to choose the right treatment for your individual skin needs, which in this sense would apply to the glow zone if it targets your skin concerns. And you can see right here the example morning skin keratin. Starting off with properly washing your face using their green plum cleanser. After that, we'll move on to their Gizeng Essence if you like to include it. You can see it's an optional step. Then you would follow on to the application of your Glow Zone. And then again, as an optional step, your moisturizer. And then before you're heading outdoors and you have sun exposure, don't forget your sunscreen to protect the skin from the damaging UV rays. Now you can see what steps are optional, but I want to keep my main focus just briefly on the moisturizer and sunscreen step. Now if you're going to go with Beauty of Josen sunscreens, that one is very hydrating and offers some great moisturizing benefits as well, where you can use it on its own, where using a moisturizer beforehand isn't really necessary. However, if you should have a different sunscreen that may also be a bit more drying on the skin, like a mineral sunscreen, as I have right here in my example with Neot Survival, well then you may want to add a moisturizer beforehand to balance it out so it feels comfortable comfortable on the skin. You need to adjust it based on the products that you have as well as your skin type. And remember, if you're a person that likes to wear makeup, to let your sunscreen set for 10 to 15 minutes before moving on to your makeup application. As for the evening skincare routine, remember there's no sunscreen needed and you may want to adjust your cleansing step. When using Beauty of Josen sunscreen, that one comes off with a green plum a cleanser. However, if you should have one and a stubborn mineral sunscreen like Neot Survival 30 in my example, or you have one waterproof makeup, you may want to use their oil or balm cleanser on its own to properly take everything off the skin or if necessary and if you feel the need based on um, the experience that you have, you may want to do a double cleanse using an oil or balm cleanser at first and then move on to your regular water-based cleanser. And then after that, you can follow with, for example, the exfoliating acid toner or again their essence, then the glow zone and lastly the moisturizer if you should feel the need. Now below the example routine you can see the general guide which should help you to use the products when trying this out at home. Now, if you want to go over the example routine in your own time, I have prepared for you everything in a PowerPoint. So after the example routines, you'll find a product description box part, which lists all the products to emphasize for whom they are suitable, what they specifically do to the skin. And then after that, you'll find the general skincare tips guide on how you can do a patch test, properly wash your face to avoid skincare peeling, some layering tips, as well as a sunscreen application and removal guide. It's all in a PowerPoint. Remember, you can find it in the description box down below. Now that you know how you can include it in your skincare routine, let's head into the application. Now we're going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face to ensure proper layering absorption and avoiding skin sensitivities. And this already starts off by choosing the right cleanser for your skin type and needs. For example, use an oil or balm cleanser to remove your stubborn mineral sunscreen or waterproof makeup. As for the rest, you can use your regular water-based cleanser. Then make sure to use lukewarm water to warm water, which makes the cleanser work more effectively and it feels more comfortable on the skin. But avoid hot water, otherwise it may dry out your skin. When washing your face above the sink and you're ending up with less traces of cleanser, sunscreen and or makeup, you can go ahead and use a clean damp washcloth to help remove those traces. And then lastly, you're going to pat the skin dry. And those are other steps that I want to demonstrate. And as an example, I'm going to use Beauty of Josen's Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser, which is a water-based regular cleanser that's suitable for all skin types and needs to be applied to wet skin. So let's get started. Now I usually recommend using about a coin size amount of cleanser, however with this one you need a bit less. About that much. 
rub it between your hands and then massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds. Then rinse it off. Now take your damp washcloth to remove any last traces that you may have missed. Then rinse again. And then take a clean towel and gently pat all over to remove the excess water drops on the skin surface to ensure proper layering and absorption, but avoiding skin sensitivities. Once you're done with your cleansing step, you now, as an optional step, can move on to your toner or essence step and then use about 10 drops or more or less about a coin size amount in the palm of your hand and apply it evenly all over. Let it absorb into the skin for about 30 to 60 seconds and then move on to the next step, which would be the application of your glow serum. Now, of course, you can use the glow serum immediately after your cleansing step as well if you do not have a toner or essence at home, so you can customize it. As a general guide, I recommend using between three to five drops in the palm of your hand fingertips or immediately onto your face, and then gently blend it all over. If you're going to use more than that, it can easily feel sticky on the skin, and it may feel like it's not properly absorbing into the skin, which then can lead to an uncomfortable feeling. Therefore, I recommend following my general guide. Then rub your hands together and blend it evenly all over. Once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then again, remember to wait 30 seconds to a minute for it to absorb before moving on to the next step. Now, the next step in your evening skin care routine, if you should feel the need, would be your moisturizing step. Use a P to a bean size amount, apply it evenly all over, and then there you have it. However, as for your morning skin care routine, you can include a moisturizing step if you like to and if you should feel the need. However, I'm going to skip on that because I'm using Beauty of Chosen sunscreen, which is like a moisturizer and sunscreen in one, which means it's very hydrating and moisturizing on the skin that I feel like using a moisturizer in between isn't really necessary. And this also will ensure that everything feels comfortable on the skin and properly layers um, when doing this routine at home. Now, when working with your sunscreen, make sure to choose one that's suitable for your skin type as well as does not irritate your skin to properly protect the skin if you have sun exposure. Apply your sunscreen 10 to 15 minutes before heading outdoors. And for your face, neck and ears, to give you a general guide, use about half a teaspoon so that you have enough product to evenly blend it all over. Of course, if you just want to use the sunscreen for your face alone, well then you need to reduce the amount. If you want to include your decolletage as well, you need to use about one teaspoon. So you can see that the general guide can be adjusted. Just remember to use quite a lot of sunscreen for an even protection. I have half a teaspoon right here to give you a visual guide, which should work well with this one. However, if you feel like it's a bit too much, you can reduce it a bit as it is quite hydrating as well. I'm going to get it on my hands, so about that much. And I'm now going to use that amount for my face, neck, as well as ears and bring it down a bit towards my decolletage. Now 
Now you can apply your sunscreen around the eyes if it does not cause any sensitivities. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. However, if it does cause sensitivities, then avoid the eye area. Wear sunglasses instead or exchange it to a different sunscreen that you can tolerate around the eyes. So, and once you have applied it all over, well then this can be the last step in your morning skincare routine. However, if you prefer to wear makeup on top, now would be the time to wait 10 to 15 minutes for your sunscreen to set and then move on to your makeup application. Now, when it comes to the reapplication of your sunscreen, it basically depends on your day-to-day -day activities. If you have sun exposure for several hours throughout the day where you cannot seek proper shade, then the reapplication of every two to three hours is recommended. Or immediately after sweating or swimming, where the sunscreen can wear off or rub off. However, if you're going to apply your sunscreen properly in the morning, the way I just demonstrated, and you only have a little bit of sun exposure where you're heading out for school, work, grocery shopping, like only those short intervals, and by the end of the day, you may end up with half an hour or one hour of sun exposure. Once you've applied it properly in the morning, it should give you enough protection for the entire day. Therefore, there's no reapplication needed. Unless you're sitting close to a window where the sun hits you right away in the face, then please remember to apply it throughout the day because again, it's like you have sun exposure without seeking shade. So again, remember to you that you need to adjust it based on your day-to-day -day activities. And this is what I wanted to share with you. This would be then the last step. Now, if you wanna go over the example routines in your own time, remember it's all in the PowerPoint, which you can find in the description box down below. And I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you wanna see more educational skincare content, head on to my YouTube channel, there's much more. And I will see you there. Happy skincaring.